Also new this morning, Regal announced it's going to be temporarily closing all of its U.S. locations starting Thursday. Leslie Ackerson is in studio with what this means. Good morning. Russell, good morning. All 536 theaters in the U.S. will be affected, as well as approximately 40,000 employees. The theater chain is based here in Knoxville and says the closures are due to major markets like New York, which have remained closed for months, along with studios being reluctant to release new films. Now, earlier this week, No Time to Die, the latest film in the James Bond series, announced it would be postponing its November release date to April 2021, which had already been pushed once. While theaters in New York never resumed operations here in Knoxville, several theaters did reopen at the end of August with new COVID-19 precautions in place. However, they weren't really showing hardly anything new, instead offering throwbacks like Black Panther and Star Wars for reduced ticket prices. In a statement, parent company Cineworld CEO Mookie Greidinger said, quote, we are especially grateful for and proud of the hard work that our employees put in to adapt our theaters to the new protocols and cannot underscore how difficult this decision was. You can, of course, read more on that full statement online at WBR.com. We're going to continue to follow this news as it develops throughout the day.